everyone, this is Siti Pathak and you're watching my channel. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe my channel. You can also see my Instagram ID on the slide which is healthcare for you forever. Please do not forget to follow my Instagram account. Today I will talk about different services in the hospital. So there are different services in the hospital which is provided to the patients. There are four different kinds. First is clinical services, second is support services, third is utility services and fourth is administrative services. So let's move on to the next slide to talk about the clinical services. Okay, so now I'll talk about the clinical services. So the first one is the outpatient department. So as the name suggests, the patient doesn't get admitted to the hospital and takes the consultation from the doctor in the consultation room and goes back home. Second one is the inpatient department where the patient gets admitted to the hospital. Third one is the intensive care unit when the patient is critically ill. So the patient gets admitted to this particular unit. Then the fourth one is nursing care. The nurses take care of the patient after the doctor has given the treatment to the patient. Then the next one is the neonatal intensive care unit. So this particular intensive care unit is very, very specific for the newborn babies. The next one is operation theater. It's basically a theater where the surgeries are done. Next one is the emergency department. This department handles all the emergency cases. And then the next one is disaster management. So this one is responsible for managing the disasters that might occur any time in the hospital. So now I will move on to the next slide which will talk about the support services. Okay, so now I'll talk about the support services. So the first one is laboratory. So there are different types of laboratory, serology, immunology, hematology, clinical pathology, then cytopathology, cytogenetics, histopathology. Second one is the blood bank. So this particular support service is responsible for storing the blood okay so there are different types of blood like a positive a negative b positive b negative o positive o negative a b positive a b negative so all kinds of bloods are stored in this particular blood bank then third one is the pharmacy so pharmacy is responsible for providing different types of drugs and medication there are different types of drugs like narcotic drugs psychotropic drugs okay and the next one is the radiology. So there are different types of services in the radiology like X-ray, CT scan, MRI, ultrasonography. The next one is medical record department. This department is responsible for storing all the med medical records of the patients. Next one is physiotherapy. So physiotherapy is given to the patient after the surgery so that they can overcome their disability. Next one is central sterile supply department. This department is responsible for sterilizing all kinds of equipment instruments and linen next one is the nuclear medicine which is basically responsible for providing the treatment and diagnosis to the patient with the help of radioactive substances so this was all about support services now we will move on to the next slide which is about utility services Okay, so now I'll talk about the utility services. So the first one is the housekeeping. In this particular service, the staff cleans the floors, cleans the windows, then cleans the toilets, maintains a hygienic environment that is really very important for the hospital. The second one is the linen and laundry. So linen and laundry service, all the linen is basically cleaned and it is being pressed so that it can be used in different departments, okay, in different wards. So this is what linen and laundry is. Then the third one is dietary services. In this particular service, a food is provided to the patient and the staff. And the fourth one is the mortuary where all the dead bodies are kept. And the last one is biomedical engineering in which all the equipments are electrically handled like heating, ventilation and air conditioning, like laminar flow, like defibrillators, like ACs, Okay, so all these things are handled under biomedical engineering. So now let's move on to the next slide which will talk about the administrative services. Okay, so now I'll talk about the administrative services. So the first one is the human resources. So as the name suggests, this means handling the human beings who are working in the hospital. So the human beings who are working in the hospital are doctors, nurses, housekeeping staff, 
staff in the biomedical engineering department, staff in the laboratory, staff in the blood bank, staff in the CSSD, staff in the medical record department. So these people have to be handled. So how they can be handled? So they can be handled by giving them a lot of trainings. Then performance evaluation is the most important aspect of the human resources because if the performance is not tracked, then the performance will go down and that will ultimately lead to the harmful consequences to the patient because the patient care will not be very good. Okay, so training is really very important in the human resources and compensation, then occupational safety of the employees that is really very important in the hospital second one is the marketing so marketing is basically done to publicize the hospital so that to make the hospital known this will help the patient to come to the hospital so it will increase the footfall of the hospital third one is the operations operations is really very important it basically means managing different departments of the hospital fourth one is the finance budgeting of the hospital is really very important so that hospital gets a good revenue okay so now i hope that you have understood all the services of the hospital okay please do share this particular video with your friends and family members who are interested in learning these services okay so goodbye and have a good day and stay safe and healthy Thank you everyone for watching this video i hope you really like this video okay so have a good day and stay safe and healthy bye bye